an ancient woman who couldn't see or hear so well, but whose latkes, the potato pancakes that she made for Hanukkah, would give off such a delicious smell, they could wake a bear out from hibernation.
Shaloba Babrena? Happy Hanukkah. I come for your delicious latkes. Ha! Ah, you've come for my gakkas? You'll never get away with this? Your latkes, you know, the fried pancakes made from potatoes. Ha! Ah, tomatoes? They're out of season. I don't have any. Go away. Latkes! You invited me, the rabbi, for Hanukkah dinner with latkes. But rabbi, you already came by and ate all my latkes. Baba Brina, don't you recognize me? I couldn't have eaten all your lockers. I've been at the synagogue all day. You had a little dreidel and you made it out of clay? So did I! Wait a minute, Rabbi! Something strange is happening around here. I think there's an imposter coming around eating other people's lockers. He smells like you and he has your beard. He ate everything! Baba Brina, I think I found a clue to this puzzle. Do you see what I see on your floor? I'm 97 years old. My eyesight isn't what I once had. I can't see very much. Well, here on your floor are a set of footprints, but they're way too big to belong to a person. I think they belong to a very hungry bear that ate all your lockers. A bear, Bubba Breda. <gasps> a bear? Yeah, I thought it was you. <laughs> what a very clever bear. Or a very foolish Bubba Breda. Ah, oh, well. I hope the bear has a happy Hanukkah. I had a happy Hanukkah, and I hope you will too.